Well, after hours of searching the waters around Belle Isle, the Coast Guard has called off their search, saying there is no missing swimmer. 7 Action News reporter Brian Paul Marini has been following this situation closely all night long. She joins us live with an update. This was a young swimmer we were talking about, right, Brian? That's right, Dave and Joanne. Uh, after several searches here with the sonar boats and the water here behind me around these buoys here, DPD and the Coast Guard have called off the search for a possible young swimmer. And they say really no news is good news in this situation because there was nothing tragic that happened. And they're very glad, though, that it was reported. It all started this evening when a 14 year old girl thought she saw a boy go under and never come back up. She told her parents, who reported it to 911. Soon after, the beach and the water around it swarming with searchers. But there was never a family or an individual who reported their loved one went under. And after hours of searching, it appears there was never a missing swimmer in the first place. When we get these types of reports, we always take them seriously. Whether they're a hoax or I don't want to use the word hoax, whether there's a mistake in, in, in observation or whatever the circumstances are, we're always going to respond because, again, our job is to safeguard life. DPD says even though they used a lot of resources tonight, it was important for the girl and her family to report this. I think it was actually a good thing. Uh, again, uh, I, I would believe that the parents need to be near so that they can also be brought in to, to evaluate the child in terms of what they actually saw. But in terms of law enforcement response, we're always going to respond to these types of situations. A DPD never wants to discourage people from reporting something that could mean the difference between life or death. So while there were some stressful moments out here tonight, they're really glad this was reported and there was no tragedy in the end. Live on Belle Isle, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Yeah, certainly that is the good news in all this. Brianne, thank you so much for the live report.